Today, we're going to take a look at your partner in crime when generating great content online, the AI anti-hero content villain, which allows us to write product descriptions, outbound email templates, blog posts, ads, tweet suggestions, and more. This is a deal available in the AppSumo marketplace for $69. It's got a lot of five taco reviews, at least 17 at the time of this recording. And this deal gives you access to unlimited credits using using GPT-3, artificial intelligence, and webhook integration. That's how it differentiates itself from niches, right sonic, the other tools that we've gone over on this channel. Stuart is the founder, and if you stack two codes, not only do you get the unlimited credits, but you also get a bespoke generator created exclusively for your business within two weeks. And if you stack three codes, you get API access. Now, what I liked about Content Villain is the onboarding process. It's done through this chatbot-like experience. I thought it was kind of cool. It's uh, rather simple. You just enter in your email in the AppSumo code, and then it creates your account. You can join the Facebook group where Stuart is very active in telling you about all of the updates, the progress. This tool is seeing updates week over week. It's got a lot of user-generated uh, feedback that is contributing to improving the tool, and Stuart is listening to the customers, the people that buy, uh, take part in the lifetime deal. And currently, at least next week, right now, it's slated to have a long-form editor where you're going to be able to create an article, a blog, and a press release, which I have not seen in some some of the other tools that I've reviewed on this channel. And then you're going to get a conclusion button. He's got a whole workflow situation here. But uh, I do want to point out before we get into anything that there is a YouTube channel for Content Villain. You can check that out if you get stuck anywhere along the way. So let's jump back to Content Villain and let's generate some content today. And if you come in and generate content from the homepage, then you're greeted with this chatbot-like experience. And we can come in here and we can do idea generation, product description, social media and ads, sales copy, website copy, email creation, and more. I'm going to select email creation right now, and we're going to be able to come down here and we're going to be able to select what type of email we want to have the AI assist us with. From email subject lines to confirmation emails, thank you emails, outbound sales emails, reply tos, special offers, or even meeting reminders. So I'm going to do a special offer email, and here we're going to put in the recipient name. Name, and then the sender name will go with Scott. So we're just going to say Content Villain provides you with AI generated content. If you need inspiration for business ideas, we'll delete out this second sentence there. And it looks like it cuts it off. So let's just go with AppSumo.com. You know, we could always change that later. And then let's go ahead. I would like to see this longer because you saw it cut off my Go subdomain. So you've got to go with a very short URL, I guess, in order for that to work. Then we will generate the content. And what I like about Content Villain is the webhook integration. So right here, we can add a email subject and address to send it instantly via webhooks. Now, if you need a a webhook provider. You can sign up for Integromat. I'll leave a link down in the description. Integromat's free. Uh, the link's an affiliate link if you ever upgrade. However, Integromat in general is great for a free alternative to Zapier, in my opinion. Zapier, you know, you got to pay a lot quicker than you do with Integromat. And to create a webhook, we'll just come up here and create a new scenario. We're going to go ahead and type in webhook. And under web hooks, we'll click continue. And now we've got our web hook, but we're going to need to create a custom web hook. So let's go ahead and create this right here. And we're going to click add. And then I'm going to give my web hook a name. And the reason I'm creating a web hook for the email promo is the way that Content Villain works is essentially you can create web hooks for each of the different modules and kind of go like that. So depending on how you use web hooks or the tool, then you might want to create more than one web hook. And I'm going to click save and we can go ahead and copy this address to the clipboard. And I'm going to go ahead and run this once. Uh, it says I need to set this up first. So let's click OK. And then we'll click Run Once. And we'll jump into Content Villain once more. And I'm going to say yes here. And for the email address, I'm going to put scott at AIProfits.com. And the email subject, we're going to go test content villain. And so we have the response right here. It says, hi, Frank. Here at Content Villain, we are proud to offer this exclusive special offer exclusively to you. 
There's too many exclusives there and offer is duplicated. All right, it needs a little bit of work. LTD to content villain and save 20%. So it qu doesn't quite understand LTD. You know, sometimes AI, it's not there yet. But in this case, we're getting kind of the framework of what we actually need to say. And we can come in here and we can edit this output. So in here, we could change this up and we'll see that it gave us 369 characters, 74 words and eight sentences. So it's not really a bad output as far as the length and, you know, four emails. I think it's perfect, but I don't like the exclusive special offer exclusively for you. I would want to come in here and I would want to, you know, put a synonym on that. If we finish and we like what it is, we can send this to a webhook and we would be off to the races. Let's actually come into the sales copy this time. And for the sales copy, we're going to come into marketing angles and the business product details. And we're going to say content villain provides you with AI generated content. And we'll create content and we'll see what type of angles we can have when we're trying to promote content villain. Uh oh. We hit an error on the back end. We apologize. This has happened. Please try it again. So this is the whole concept of, you know, garbage in, garbage out. And if you click here, what you're going to see is a blog article that explains garbage in, garbage out. And I like the way that Stuart is informing and educating uh, the process as far as how to use GPT-3 to get best results. If I had to, you know, kind of point out one thing to Stuart, if you happen to see this, I, I don't know if it's possible to make content villain work within the system, but I found that content villain works for promoting most things. But for some reason, whenever I try to steer it towards content villain content, for example, for this video, for me trying to promote it, I've gotten this message and it's not every time, but it's happened more than any other type of search I've given the uh, search engine or the GPT-3 engine, whatever it is. And we're going to be done with this chatbot experience right now because they have a new web app and the new web app is where we're going to spend most of our time on Content Villain. This says welcome to the villain hideout. And I'm going to go over this, even though it's pretty self-explanatory. It's the exact same models or modules that were a part of the chatbot experience. But on the left where it says plan your heist, you can come in and you can see all the different modules on one scroll through. And what you'll see is there are just far too many for me to actually go through today. We could do a YouTube call to action, like like this video if it's brought to you any value. Subscribe to AI Profits if you want to see more like it. Or we can also see YouTube description intros, video hooks, uh, all kinds of social media ads, even text classification, which I think is perfect because Content Villain is providing a lot of the same things that Content Bot AI has, and it's doing so still as a lifetime deal in the AppSumo store. Now, I hope that this deal doesn't go away right after this video, like my recent video for Go Copy. That deal disappeared literally the day after my video went live. Hopefully, Content Villain's got a little bit more life in it. Uh, <laughs> these tools, you know, they're in the marketplace and they have a set number that they're going to sell and then they just disappear. So if this deal is still available, link in the description. You can support the channel. How it stacks up to niches, we'll get to in a little bit. That's my favorite AI tool. But nevertheless, the text classification feature is something that offers far more, you know, future proof use, I would say, from the artificial intelligence uh, than some of the other tools we've looked at. So like text rephrasers, keyword identifiers, a TLDR summary, even review sentiment analysis, which kind of helps you discern or decide if a review, you know, what it is. Let's actually look at that because I think that's kind of cool. So this is a positive review because it says, what a great find. So sometimes you might get reviews and you're not exactly sure what the sentiment of the review is. This is for customer service or for just, you know, trying to decide, did this person actually like the product or not? I don't know if I'll use it that much, but I think it is a kind of a cool thing. One of the things that you're probably going to use Content Villain the most for is micro copy. So this is short copy based on a topic. So for example, we can say talk about and how to benefit. So we're going to say talk about how drone photography sells more real estate. And we click generating and you might have noticed in the chatbot version of Content Villain, which I think is the main version that's being used right now, you don't get but one input at a time. So you only get one 
output, I should say. Whereas with the new web app, you get multiple outputs and I like the interface a lot better. This is a truly fantastic tool where it stands right now. If I made this video two months ago, I don't think that I would be as positive as I am today. That just shows you how much Stuart's put into the tool and how much better it is getting week over week, day over day. And what the uh, search results are, drone photography has proven to sell more real estate than ordinary photographs. In fact, the longer the drone flies, the better the view and the higher the price it will fetch. All right. So that's just completely inaccurate. Talking about I, the first sentence is accurate. The rest of it, you know, <laughs> the longer it flies, the more likely you are to crash it. This one right here is decent. I would like it to be expanded upon a little bit. But again, all we said was talk about how drone photography sells more real estate. And the answer that I was looking for is drone photography has a unique perspective that no other media can replicate. So that right there is it doing its job based on me knowing what the answer I kind of wanted it to be. And it gave me that result. So I would like to see a little bit more text, but all in all, it did a very good job there. We got one of the three. And then up here at the top, we got a blank one. That happens with some of these tools. You just have to ignore it. And let's keep going and seeing what other types of things we have. So under sales copywriting, we get a bunch of the different sales formulas. So when niches added this, I loved the tool. And I can be honest, it does help you, you know, feature advantage benefit. Let's go in here and we're going to plug in content villain. And then we're going to give the content villain product a description and say that it is a tool that uses artificial intelligence to help us write better content or better copy. And then once we click generate, we're going to get the output here and it's going to actually work. So like I said earlier, you know, sometimes content villain wasn't working when I was trying to generate either ideas or certain GPT-3 outputs from content villain. But sometimes it is working like with the sales tools. And here we'll see that the features, the tool uses artificial intelligence to help you write better copy. The advantages create content without interrupting your workflow. You can do that through webhooks. This actually has that automation support. So again, at any time right here, we could send this to a webhook right there. It says webhook sent. And we can send that then on the other end, and we can make another video on that if you want. We could send it to different things, whether it be emails or to a Google spreadsheet or even inside of CRMs or things that are far more advanced than probably I will ever use it for. But really with a webhook, you can do most anything as long as whatever you're doing supports webhooks. Uh, so then we get benefits Content Villain helps you write better copy faster and easier. Again, it's kind of doing a good job here. Uses artificial intelligence to write better copy as opposed to writing the content yourself. It's fun to let it create the content for you. It's a great tool for those looking for inspiration or want a new story idea. Content Villain helps you write better copy. It can assist you in developing great content. One example is it provides you with a set of templates. All right, so it doesn't do that, but it provides you with a set of modules that help you kind of create the type of content you need. So it's kind of the same thing. And then down here, the last one, avoid writer's block. And then it says, you know, it has a tool that can be used in any situation for any type of writing. And that new press release feature will be something that I'm excited to cover, you know, as kind of more of the long form modules come out. Look at all of these modules available, though. There truly are. This is probably the most of any. This is on par with niches. And down here with the custom bespoke models, if you buy two codes or three codes, you get access to that. And essentially, you can work with Stuart to create your own GPT-3 engine. And on three codes, you can get API access. Now, I don't know quite how that works or I don't fully understand it. I know OpenAI is quite restrictive on who they give access to. So this would be access to Content Villains API. And I'm sure you could do some cool things with that if you know how to work with APIs. Uh, the two codes, you know, for I think that's about a hundred and whatever dollars, uh, you can get a GPT-3 engine. And uh, again, that's like, let's say you're a realtor and you want to write property descriptions. And up here, we'll see under real estate, I think right now they just do vacation rentals. Right here under real estate, they do Airbnb descriptions. Let's say you wanted to do long term property sales descriptions. Well, that could be a custom bespoke model for your business. At least that's my interpretation of it. And for two codes, you're getting access to work with Stuart on that. I don't know what the process is like, but if you have any questions, join the Facebook group. Stuart is very responsive. Send him an email. You know, Hopefully he'll see this video, comment down below, and Stuart will answer any questions you may have. So that's pretty much the tool in a nutshell. Again, there's just too much to go over each of these modules. If you want me to go over any in particular module, 
leave a comment down below. Up here at the top, we're going to go over the dashboard, the personas, the vault, and all of that here in a little bit. And then we're going to wrap this video up. So the dashboard, you know, this is just saying essentially the web apps live. This is where he can update you along the way. If you're not a member of the Facebook group, I uh, got new YouTube videos there, all of that type of stuff. It's kind of what you get when you log in. The personas, this is where this long-term content or long-form content is going to kind of come in the sense that the persona models are a work in progress and they plan to release them soon. Uh, but in the pipeline, there's an article writer, blog writer, drip campaign for sales, new product launch on an e-commerce site, and much more. So this tool truly gets better with time. I can say that about niches as well. Niches comes in, I think, at $59. This comes in at $69. This tool right now has a better interface. It has better overall functionality as far as thinking about the webhook integration, the fact that you know you can use this as a part of your uh, workflow or the system. And then this tool also, in my opinion, has more offers, but niches still has the best content output. The user experience that I get from niches as far as the content that it spits out, I like it a little bit better than Content Villain right now. So that's kind of the side-by-side. -side. Do you need both? It depends on if you need the additional modules that Content Villain has. Do you need the webhook integration? Do you want to take advantage of that bespoke model? Because that's a really cool offer. And then also, do you want to diversify your AI portfolio? I would put this number one B maybe, or number two, right behind niches. Niches, it's, you know, it was the first one I bought. It still blows my mind. Uh, Content Villain, though, is a very, very good tool, and it's definitely in that same ballpark. Now, let's look at the vault. The vault is where you can store pre-filled content. So right here, you can put input one. It can be used in any module. And then all of these inputs are going to help save you time so you don't always have to type in, you know, that you're doing this for AI profits or, you know, whatever your business may be. Now, up here at the top, we're also going to get the web hooks. This is where we can set up webhook details for each of the different modules. So again, you see just how many there are. And when it's done like this, it's almost overwhelming with how many options you get. But the way that I see it, most of these, you know, I come in here and let's say I need to apologize for an issue and I don't know how to write it. I can come in, I can create my webhook inside Integromat. I showed you how to do that. And you would paste in that webhook. I, I guess we meant to test that. And then we got a little sidetracked. So let's copy this address. And then let's come in and let's paste this webhook here. And we're going to go ahead and connect that webhook to the model. And then I'm going to jump back to Integromat. I'm going to run it once. And then we're going to go into that model and we're going to test everything out. So I have filled this out. You know, I'm apologizing to you, the viewer, for forgetting to show you how the webhooks work. Uh, this is from me, AI Profits. And you're the new subscriber because you're going to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button while you're at it. So let's go ahead and generate the professional apology response. So right here it says, hi, new subscriber. I'm so sorry that I forgot to show how webhooks work at AI Profits. I'm sorry for this and I will try to do better in the future. We also get the, I am sorry that I forgot to show how webhooks work as a part of our training for content villain. We would change that out. We just can come in here and we can say for content villain. I want to make sure that this doesn't happen again. And I'm rectifying this for you right now. So this right here, we can then send this to the webhook. It's going to send it to the webhook. And if we jump back to Integromat, we see that check mark, which means that it actually fired. Now, if I wanted to do the exact same thing uh, to add this to either Gmail, I could do that here and I could fire off an email. So let's say I wanted to come in here and I wanted to send an email each time. I could add a recipient. And for this, we're just going to test out Scott at AIProfits.com and we'll click add. And then we'll do test. And then for the content, we are going to plug in the content here and we're going to click OK. We're going to go ahead and run this once. And then I'm going to jump back to content villain inside that same webhook. I'm going to click send and we're going to send that webhook one more time. And then we're going to make sure that it fired off. And it looks like it sent our email. And if we log into our Gmail account, then we'll see test apology. Right here is the email. Hi, new subscriber. I am so sorry that I forgot to show you. I always add a so. I'm so sorry. It just says I am sorry. But you get the point. 
it works. And this is where Content Villain can produce a ton of value. If you want to see more on webhooks or ways that I'm using this tool, leave a comment down below. Hopefully, I'm going to be using this tool far more than some of the other tools that I've picked up because of the webhook integration and figuring out ways to kind of respond appropriately without always writing, you know, the same text out over and over and over again. For example, I could actually save this to a project. And then every time I forget to do that, I could actually come in here and probably, you know, find a way to do that. I don't know how I would do it. Uh, but that's the reason that, you know, you got to kind of play around with this tool and figure out what works best. Now up here in saved, that's where we're going to have our saved outputs. This is the one that I just saved. Uh, so like I said, you could save it and then you could come in here and you could fire this as a webhook. There are so many ways that you can use this. So up here at the top, we get the uh, settings. And for these settings, what we get is you know, the plan that we're on, our email, and then we get translation language. And that's one of the things that this tool has that some of the other tools don't, and that's the ability to actually translate. Let's say we wanted to do the product description for the Waffle Maker 10,000, which is a Japanese design waffle maker. I can generate product descriptions here. So this is kind of cool. You get a bunch of outputs, their e-commerce descriptions. The whole point of me showing you this is if I highlight this text and come down here to translate, I can actually translate that text and here it'll say translated outputs and I do not speak Japanese. It says Waffle Maker 10,000 is a breakthrough product that allows you to bake the perfect waffle every time. So I think it did a pretty good job. If you want to know the languages that are supported, you can head over to the Content Villain blog. And on this article, we see a full list of all supported languages as follows. I'm going to wrap the video up here. I hope this video has brought you some value. I think Content Villain is one of the most promising tools that I've looked at on this channel. It gets a little bit of excitement that Niches has. It doesn't have the same personality to the outputs, I would say, that Niches has. However, in a professional setting or in a more professional environment, you might not always want some of the wit or humor that Niches has. And that's where I think that Content Villain is a great compliment, especially if you're familiar with webhooks and how to set them up, or you want to take advantage of the custom bespoke model, which I'm sure is a limited time offer. Hopefully it lasts more than a day this time. Like this video if it brought you any value. Subscribe if you want to see more content like it. My name is Scott with AIprofits.com and we'll see you in the next one.